Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to see how to create multiple environments in any point platform. The multiple environments like, you know, dev, QA and prod. Okay, we'll talk about what is dev and what is QA and what is prod. Okay, so in order to create multiple environments, first we need to log in into any point platform. Okay, let's open any one of your private browser. So in that browser, type any point platform login. Click on the very first link. So here you need to provide your username. So my username is VAT school 04. So here we need to provide a password. As soon as if you click sign in, you can able to see the welcome page here, the welcome page. So here we have an option called access management. Okay. By using access management, we can create multiple environments or else we have one more option here. Let me take connotations. Okay, if you observe, there are three bars, okay? Three lines here, okay? Three lines. So if you click on these three lines, so here also you can able to see there is an option called access management. Click on this access management. Click on business groups. So here you need to select your organization name. It's like MuleSoft is my organization here. Click on this MuleSoft. Click on environments. If you observe here, there are two environments. It's already available. Now we need to create, now we need to create dev and another one is QA. And another one is like prod. So, okay. Why do we need to create these environments? Okay, first of all. So, in every organization, okay, whatever we develop, first we will deploy into dev region. Okay, these are all called like environments or regions. Okay, we'll call like that. Okay, dev region or dev environment. First, whatever we are going to develop, we are going to deploy into it deploy into dev region. Then the testing is going to perform in QA region. So that's why we need a QA. So sometimes what we will do, okay, there are some organizations, there are multiple environments for QA, QA, QA1, QA2, something like this, okay? So that is depends on organization. But here we are going to create there are three environments one is dev one is qa and one is prod so how, this is how the life cycle will work so first we are going to de deploy our application into dev region once it is working fine then we will deploy our application into qa it's like testing environment quality assurance the quality assurance people is going to test our applications here so once everything is then Okay, once everything is done, it's like testing is done. And if the testers is going to give sign off, then we will deploy it into prod finally. Okay, production region. We'll call it as production. Okay, let's get create environments here. Click on create environment. Click on dev. Okay. Click on this sandbox. Click on create. One more region. I want to create as a QA. Okay. If you want, you can keep everything in a small letters. So that is up to you. If you want, you can keep it. Everything is in capital letters. So that's also fine. Click on this sandbox again. Create it. Now 
create one more region for production broad i'm going to keep it here then here we need to select production only so if you observe here there is a type called dev one va is sandbox and prod is for production this is how we can create the multiple environments okay this is how we can create the multiple environments suppose you want to deploy you want to deploy your code into dev region so we have a runtime manager option okay we have a runtime manager go to runtime manager so in this lecture we are going to see only how to create an environments but i'm going to show you how many environments okay it is available in a runtime manager also see as soon as if we create right so here also you can see the environment options suppose i want to deploy my code into dev you can click on this dev option here you can click on dev option so this is how we can deploy there is a deploy option deploy application we can deploy our application okay yeah that's it for this video hope it is helpful for you yeah thanks for watching this happy learning